Managing MDS Symptoms Let's explore how this is done. Red Cells Early stages of the disease are typically treated with periodic, weekly or bi-weekly inoculations of Procrit or Aranesp. These growth factors help healthy marrow produce more cells which mask the symptoms, but symptoms can return if treatment ceases. White Cells the normal approach is to employ regular doses of antibiotics to ward off infections. Immunosuppressive drugs. This approach slows down blood cell production. Cancer drugs. Chemotherapy was discovered to be a viable treatment of MBS even though it is not a form of cancer. Bone marrow transplantation. For extreme cases of MDS, bone marrow transplants are used. And lastly, blood transfusions. There are important considerations for patients who receive blood transfusions. Blood donors pass on their antibodies developed from their past fights with body infection. Your blood contains its own antibodies that have accumulated during your life's journey. This process can introduce other complications when the various antibodies look to attack each other. As previously stated, each blood cell type has its own lifespan. MDS sufferers require quality blood and not volume. Blood approaching its expiration date is less effective because the number of each blood cell diminishes with the passing of time. Therefore, you should always insist on receiving newly donated blood that has been irradiated and filtered. These options are always available, but may require additional processing time. This is your right and duty. You must take control. There is a simple explanation for this complex medical malady. MDS has probably been around for a long period of time, but it is only being diagnosed more as the population lives longer. Lack of knowledge about this disease has sadly resulted in many suffering unnecessarily without detection and treatment. Closing the gap between symptoms and diagnosis will improve the outcome. You can help to affect this trend. Doing nothing guarantees a poor physical outcome. Failure to obtain a proper diagnosis simply because many of the medical profession are ignorant of this disease is a tragedy. It is important that we take control of our destiny and refuse to take off-handed diagnoses as the norm. If someone suffering from MDS fails to seek treatment, their quality of life suffers dramatically. That would be a shameful outcome. Schedule a doctor's appointment with a plan in place. Being timid will get you nowhere. If you detect any of the symptoms described by me, seek medical help. Ask your physician if he or she is familiar with MDS. Explain how you learned of the disease and ask that a blood workup, complete blood count, be done in order to establish a base level for future blood studies and analysis. Insist upon test results with interpretive conclusions. Always obtain copies of the test results for your personal files. Whenever blood work is done at a hospital or laboratory, request a copy be given to you before blood is drawn. You may have to sign a release form so this can be done according to their confidentiality rules. 
read the test results carefully, taking into consideration the knowledge gained from today's presentation. Take control if your doctor doesn't do it for you. Now you know what is possible and what the benefits can be, so go to it. Most of you are familiar with the term chemotherapy. In my particular case, I am treated monthly with a cancer-fighting drug called Videza. This is not to suggest that MDS is cancer. It is not. There are other effective drugs such as Revlimid and Dacogen being used effectively. Also, there are many new drugs under development and undergoing clinical trials. Blood transfusions. Depending upon your physician's treatment plan, sometimes blood transfusions are prescribed. Miraculously, my Videza drug treatment has freed untold patients from this tedious treatment and associated transfusion problems previously described by me. Bone marrow transplants. This procedure involves the transplanting of donated bone marrow to supplement your own. Comprehensive matching of a donor's marrow to yours can involve long waiting periods before a suitable donor is found. Lifestyle changes. An MDS patient's weekly routine will change. In my case, a CBC is drawn each week. If needed, I receive varying dosages of Procrit depending upon my blood levels. The major blood measurement determining my dosage is hemoglobin, the oxygen carrying vehicle. Five days are set aside every fourth week when Videza is administered intravenously. This treatment takes about an hour and one half. As you can readily see, this was a major change in my lifestyle. My calendar becomes an integral part of my planning. Choosing to travel life's journey alone is poor judgment. If a patient does, that choice should be re-evaluated. Isolation most certainly breeds unhappiness. Join the others. Become a part of the MDS family by contacting the MDS Foundation. There is strength in numbers. If you are already a patient and are dissatisfied with your progress, it might be smart to consider being part of a clinical trial. There are many promising drugs under development right now. Call the National Institute of Health at 1-800-422-6237 or the MDS Foundation at 1-800-637-0839. Good luck. There is hope and it is coupled with promise. Decide right now to make today the first day of the rest of your life. It's only possible if you make it happen. I am being sincere when I say I hope this presentation proves helpful to you and your family. It may mean viewing it several times to absorb the wealth of information it contains. Do not hesitate to contact me with any questions you may have. I would be happy to respond. If you are diagnosed with MDS, what might you expect? Only through attention to your health and well-being can you be certain of life's quality. You cannot ignore obvious telltale signs of a problem and expect to live normally. Don't leave your health entirely in the hands of a physician. Who knows your body better than you? When you are armed with knowledge, you can set the pace and scale the obstacles of life. Change your direction 
and improve the journey. Press your physician for answers. Depending upon your test results, a more detailed blood analysis might be in order. A bone marrow workup might also be warranted. Consider visiting a hematologist if you are not satisfied. Do not take off-the-cuff explanations for a low hemoglobin, for example, and insist upon more concrete answers. It is your life and only you can be responsible for it, not your doctor. Being timid will get you nowhere.